I'm Tom Pledger. I'm Bob Allen. We arrived on Ambon on the uh, 17th of uh, December, 41. And uh, we never got off the ships until after dark. And they took us by trucks then into Tantui, which was to be our camp. Yes, that was, that was excellent. Then I went across to Laha. I went across with the other company that went across and we set up a SIG station near the aerodrome and I was there till uh, 10 days before the caps landed. I was lucky I got across the other side and didn't get back to Laha so I was very, very lucky. Well, we didn't know that. Nobody knew then until after the war. After the war. And uh, then we found out that the 250 odd I think it was had been either bayoneted or beheaded at Laha into two separate graves. Uh, I think it's some of the Ambonese that had seen what happened told the authorities. Well, the garden party, there were, say, Dutch officers and that, and their wives were put in a separate camp in town. So to get word backwards and forwards, they used to write letters and put them through the wire to, because the road went through the camp, to the Ambonese who were passing, they'd take them and give them to the wives, and the wives would do the same back. But the Japs got wind of it, and uh, they set a trap for them, and caught all, what, how many, 17, wasn't it? Something like something that, Something yeah. like 17. Just under 20 or something. Anyhow, they took them up on the hill, just, we could see it all from the camp. Mm -hmm. And they just, uh, Got all these sold, Jap soldiers out from the camp, from the town. I think they're mostly drunk myself. And gave them iron bars, pick and And just let them get stuck into these Dutchmen. It was 30 of us. I don't know how many killed. I can't recollect now, but I know they killed quite a few. That was when things dawned on us that it wasn't going to be all beer and skittles. Take the Japanese when they came to us. They'd been how many years in Manchuria? China, all through those wars, they were trained to kill. That's all they would do. Mm. Well, yeah. when they came to us, what could you expect? Just carry on. And that's what they did. No, I don't have any, any great hate for them. I just say they were barbarians. In my mind, they were just barbarians. They didn't know any better. Well, we just worked as slaves. We, we yeah. did everything. Roads, everything. Wolf labouring, cutting, cutting timber, shoveling, loading trucks, just just slavery. But we used to get about a cup of rice in the morning and a cup in the afternoon, and we get uh, soup. Uh, sometimes it'd have these little dried fish in it. Other times it would only have marigolds or something like that in it. Well, our main survival is what we grew ourselves. So we, we had a plant called Kang Kong. And it grew, it needed a lot of water, but it grew very fast. And we could take the leaves off that and make soup and stuff for ourselves. We had a rat plague when we first got there. That disappeared because we ate all the rats. <laughs> uh, also, what were they like? <laughs> just like chicken. Not really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Snails and that. Yes, and snails, those snails you see crawling around there, they were terrible. They were just like eating soil. But we ate them for protein. The main things you got was dysentery, was one of the first, worst, and beriberi. I had beriberi five times. What's the symptoms of beriberi? Well, beriberi is that your body, is, your heart's not strong enough to lift all the waste out of your tissues up and you pass as urine. So you start to swell at the tips of your feet and your fingers and then gradually swell so it gets up in the lungs you're in. Once well, ladies don't there. mind, I've carried my testicles around my hand like a football. Now oh, that big. If you bent your knee, it'd crack and the fluid would start to run down your legs. And uh, unless you could urinate, you were done. Mm. And I've seen them urinate a kerosene tin in one night of urine. If, if you 
It never went past my knees. Yeah. I was lucky because I urinated at night and you'd go down. You'd go out in the work party and you'd gradually swell up. And you, you always, you, your fear was if it went past there. I didn't, but 